All right, on we go. Heavy hitters. By now, there should have, like, almost two weeks should have been, I mean, let me think. When will I upload this? Today's the second. It's release day. This is like case number 12 already. Yeah. So in about two weeks. Mid-February you will see this. The prices will have settled in. By then we will know which of those Majestics will be the cool stuff. I don't know yet because, well, all I can rely on at this point is, you know, talkings after spoiler season, then some <clears throat> gameplay videos, top 10 videos, but I don't know yet. I don't know. All I know is that I got exceptionally lucky with all those marvels, as you probably know. So on we go. I ain't got none to lose. It's just open this stuff and have some fun. I'm going to put those comments here, the rares over there, the foil to the top row. And then those tokens, I'll put them here. Now, oh, that reflection is <coughs> not good at all. But anyways, who, who cares about which tokens those are? We care about those, Majestics. It's a reckless charge. And then maybe we'll find a legendary, a marvel. Maybe, maybe, maybe the fabled. Who knows? We'll see. All I know is, yes, this set is fun to open. Yes, I've also had good openings for my patrons, which is very nice. And yes, we are ahead of the pull rates that we should have had for the good cards. That's kind of strange. One more thing to watch out for. Here are the trance in foil. Is actually the Reiner adult version in regular majestic non foil if that's really supposed to be like one in ten cases we shall see for me personally it is that in the tenth case I've had one that's it right so yeah tonight later tonight I mean by the time you see this, it's all in the past. But I guess here today on release day, I am opening this. I still have boxes to open for my Patreons. Should be some good fun. All right. Now keep in mind, I basically opened everything to put that up on card market to make some money back and then I'll keep the <clears throat> the call for legendaries one each and the marvels one each and maybe the fabled if I get it so that's like one fabled five legendaries and ten marvels so it's 16 super expensive cards I um oh that was wrong If I get duplicates like the adult Kasai, I'll be able to sell that on card market. Oh man, what am I doing? Come on, the rares go here, the foil coming up there, and that's it. Somehow, hold on. Can I adjust this camera down here? Uh, I think that's a bit better. It's just the light. What is going on with the light? Well, so again, this set, if you open the packs and the second card from behind shines through because it is that uh, two sided. So right here, you only see black, so there's nothing. But if you see the borderless extended art shining through, Boy, is that something nice. So I wonder why still all these cards have damages. It is a bit annoying. I don't mind too much, but I'm just going to have to decide if this is near mint or excellent. 
in some cases those damages are really bad so excellent i've already gotten a good copy of a majestic foil but you know <clears throat> curious to see what the grading will show the pop reports like a pcg if there's going to be cards with 10 very curious to see so and also <clears throat> by the time that you watch this video i should almost have our first pcg submission back so the cards that i've collected to be graded and then the cards from my from my patrons which we all sent so we have a bulk price of 50 cards <clears throat> Those should be back around mid to end February. And this, this will be another super interesting video, I guess. My cards are not the greatest conditions. It's just I've taken some of those legendaries and stuff that I... Here's a call for that I just had in my collection. Not expensive stuff, you know, just the old Rainbow Fall. Welcome to Ralph, Arkin Rising, and then Crew, and things like that. So, the first box was nothing at all. I am really disappointed by that. We didn't even have a... I mean, we don't know which ones are the super good Majestics. Yeah, Reckless Charge, that's cool, but uh, Ancestral Harmony for Ninjas as well. But those two cards, that's just... That won't do in terms of returns. So, no profit to be made on this box. Maybe the next one is good. Let's find out. So, also, you guys, what have you been expecting from this set? And are you happy with it? Right now, I did not hear a single negative thing. Nothing. Everybody's happy. It's all good. Players and collectors. It's all good. If those pull rates stay like this, boy, we don't we won't see 10 euro legendaries again. Whew. Okay. Nothing. I would really like to skip these nothing packs for you all. This nothing. Oh, here. See? A majestic. Either arc. That's, I guess, the o No. That's a wizard. It's a wizard card. So, shift the tide of battle in foil. So far, I'm not impressed. Again. We can do better. Oh yeah, we can do much better. This is just... Um, this is just, I think, the calm before the storm. Nothing. I don't really have to like to have a legendary call foil again. Haven't that in t didn't have that in a time. So, no fear non-foil. I think that's worth mentioning. Oh, yeah. See what I mean? <laughs> Alright. No legendary cold fall, but I'll take this over a legendary cold fall. It is a Victor Goldman. That's the adult Victor Marvel. Off centered to the right. Little ding on the top. Oops. Sorry. Here's the camera. Alright. A cold foil looking super nice and super bright in person under the camera it's not but believe me this is looking good all right so here we go there's that all right good stuff so I can leave this cold foil here with the majestics and then that over there. All right. So that should have been it for the case. I think 
now I'm pretty happy with this. See, the calm before the storm has just exploded. We have a Marvel Adult on the table. That's one of the best cards you can get. I don't know if uh, Victor necessarily is the best. I don't think so. The order should be something like Kasai and then Kayo. And then Victor. I don't know. Betsy, I guess, is like on the bottom end of those five. I don't know. I don't know yet. We shall see. So, that's good. It's this shining through of this Marvel. Super awesome. Show no mercy in non foil. I have no clue if that's something nice, but we will find out. Nothing. Let's say Victor and Majestic. So that's pretty clearly structured, right? There's these adult heroes, Majestic Non-Foil or Marvel. It's not like there's a Non-Foil or a Foil or and a Marvel. It's just, it's either small or big. I think that's good. And then for the legendaries, each one exists in Rainbow Foil and Cold Foil. There is no extended art shenanigans. I think, I mean, for collectors, they just get the call for legendaries and then they hope for these marvels. It should be fine. And then the Command and Conquer, ugh, oh my god. The Arena uh, Fabled. This will be the absolute chase card, of course. We don't know the pull rates, but. I mean, I haven't gotten one. I haven't seen one. Uh, it's just... Well, well, well. Nobody knows the pull rates yet. Or probably... Maybe never. Well, yes, the people from LSS know them. But, I mean... Nothing of this is public. Here's a rare a call foil, a stone wall impasse. Or is it impassy? I have no clue. All right, so that's box two. Uh, I'm gonna put these comments in here. Box two, of course, has been super nice. We might have even had the only single uh, hit of this case. But I'm gonna keep on opening, so. Yeah, that's for later. There. Now, box number three. Should I put these rares away? Yeah, I have some space here. Right. All right, so it was late at night, the release. I was very happy with, you know, there was even something going on in the chat. Didn't happen in a long time. I think heavy hitters really woke up some players that heard the rumors that this set is super nice. It's great for players. And in my eyes, I guess, also great for collectors. And like Riddleman, Josh always said he thinks that the Marvels are the ones that are for collectors and not the legendaries anymore. That I think is absolutely true. I, I guess if you're new and you're in flesh and blood and you have some money aside and you want to collect, I guess you will absolutely go for these gorgeous full art two-sided pieces instead of the legendaries. Even though the call for legendaries look cool. I think it's just, you know, it's it's pref personal preference, right? I think those marvels are the ones that you should collect. If you're really into high-end cards. 
So, the only better thing out of this box could be the Fabled. I have... I kind of feel like I will not pull this. Just like I never pulled the Command and Conquer out of Dynasty. Still trying to. I should just buy one and then call it quits. But I also don't have the Marvel Emperor. Oh boy. Still have a long way to go. So here's an Assassin Attack Reaction. Coercive Tendency. Not for So what, what am I missing? There's Victor Adult, Kasai Adult. I did pull Betsy Adult and Young for Andreas. I've gotten some Marvels. And we are still ahead of the curve, of course. Still ahead of the pull rates that we should have. I think for the expected value videos, I will absolutely take the official... Oh, standing order, non-foil. I will take the official pull rates, of course. It makes no sense to take any other examples, because this could all just be statistically... Man, I wonder who's got the bad boxes. Here's a cold foil again. This is face adversity. I mean, yeah, there's four more cases I'm going to have to open. But, I mean, I think I'm going to open another one right after this. And then upload it in one or two days. And then, the other uh, three, I think I'm going to open live tonight. Tonight on Friday the 2nd, release day evening. So that will have a nice, a nice opening, three cases, get some people in the chat for the weekend, ask how the, what people think about, about this set. Yesterday, live stream uh, at night, I mean this night, it was awesome, we've been talking about several different topics, not just this game. Boy, am I old. We're talking about, you know, video games back then and the internet, AOL, Napster, Winamp, here, up the ante in foil. So, again, that's the blue strip up there. Two cards have this foily version. We don't know if this is on purpose or not as you can see it really shines it's like chrome it shines in different colors this is super awesome it's just a tiny detail and we don't even know if this was on purpose but looking awesome this is like the i don't know there's just this one version of up the antifoil but maybe this is the alternate art and there's only the alternate art I don't know. I don't know how to mentally handle this. Send packing. When this attacks a hero, banish a card from their arsenal. When the chain link resolves, it, if this didn't hit, return the banished card to its owner's hand. All right. Oh, did you? I didn't catch this from the back. So, camera, here we go. You should basically focus on this. No, you don't. So, I'm coming near with the cards. Oh, that's the young KO. We've had that for Cuba just two cases ago. Just one case ago. Oh boy, really? Last case has been a KO young for Cuba. And now I've gotten one as well. This one looks good. This one looks so good. Oh, there's a ding at the top. Oh yeah, there's a... Oh, sorry, where's the camera? Here. See that big thing on the top? Two next to each other? Well, anyways... Hey! Second ever... Double Marvel case. Wow. So... 
I'm gonna count at the end, but this is case number 11, and I already had two cases with two marvels. I am either exceptionally lucky, or, um, well, the pull rates, somebody messed something up. I don't know. I, I don't know. So, let me get another box. Right now, I just don't care about how to store these comments. There's so many. All right, I'm gonna go with this. So, the last box. I mean, what's that supposed to have? A legendary? This case was so good already. Adult Marvel, Young Marvel, what? This is, I mean, like, I'm happy, you just don't see it. <laughs> um, I'm like casually opening this, like release after release, case after case, and it, it, it gets normal to have these hits, of course, it's all statistics. You are getting hits, of course. Some cases are good, some cases are bad. This one is good, and then at the end, if you really reflect this, this was super good. So I think the best case was for Andreas with two Marvels and two Legendaries. I, it's just, uh, I cannot imagine any better cases. But this right here is also at the top end. Oh, see, here's the Legendary. It's uh, Rainbow Fall Gauntlets of Iron Will. Wow, boy. Wow. And now this could only be topped by the Fabled. Right now I should just take all these packs and sell them individually. Or leave them for people who order at my card market store and then just add a pack. They can get some good Majestics out of this, probably. But um, other than that... I believe, of course I'm going to open them. You want to see what's inside, right? So, somebody would have been happy with a runner runner. I'm not doing this too often anymore. Maybe I should keep some packs. I mean, I'm really happy to send out packs, but the old packs that I have, like Welcome to Wrath, Arkin Rising, Crucible of War, they get so expensive. I should really keep some newer stuff to send that out. Here's a, here's, oh yeah, there is a KO adult. It's not Reiner, it's KO. So, I don't know. Maybe, maybe we should just keep some of these packs to send them out to people. And if somebody then gets the Fabled, huh, he's going to be a lifetime Patreon, right? All right. So I tell you what, I'm just going to open some more and the last few, I'm going to keep those. Keep those to add those <coughs> to orders where people like had big orders and paid quite much so it's all right to put a pack in this is all nothing here's a cold foil raw meat i'm absolutely unsure about these cold foils and the prices that i should take are those one euro or are these five euros? 17 of them are on the set. So, six more packs. I don't know. I should stop, right? There should be a, a, a foil majestic. There should be a foil majestic, but I'm not sure. Let's see, there is five more, 
there's that. I'm just gonna... Oh boy, I don't know. I seem to be addicted. I just can't stop. Here it is. There's a majestic foil. Alright, and then I, I expect there to be one or two majestics in here. Maybe a call for a legendary? I don't know. I'm gonna put these four away. That's all good. We don't need perfect statistics because we have all the pull rates. So, that's it for today. Um, Kayo Young and Victor Old, adult, and a legendary rainbow foil next to that. That was good. I mean, those didn't look perfect. Here it's the centering and there it's this top damage, but boy, what a case. I wish all of these were like this, but then it wouldn't be something special anymore. Thanks for watching. Catch you in the next one. Bye.